Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games, and welcome back to Pele's America Part 13 here in my Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserite campaign. I believe that we were already justifying on Haiti, so let's also get started on probably Panama, I'm thinking? It looks like Panama. Yeah, we need to get Panama so that we could get access to the canal. And so I think because of that, it's a higher priority than Central America or Ecuador. This is going to take me 200 days. Let's get started then. Now, uh, let's keep an eye on what's going on over here in the Princely Federation. It's not going so well. Let's see, I still have... Well, actually, there's a few things that we have to keep our eyes on. Uh, we've got a nice encirclement here of the Argentines. Here, east of uh, Puerto... Puerto Montt. I'm not even entirely sure where is the... Okay, we got a we got a couple of cutoffs, so this is a little awkward for some reason. The San Juan tile is not linked up with the rest. Really don't know why that is. Let's get one of you to come south here. I'm just cre keep trying to get these cutoffs. All right, that worked out nicely. All right, very good, very good. Logistically, what am I short on? Anti-tank equipment and support equipment. Okay. Organize some stuff here. Uh, let's bring this up to 20 and we'll try to do that. Okay. Free civilian factories still. Um, we already have researched. We just got the nuclear reactors. So let's start building a bunch of those. Yeah. There we go. Plenty to keep me busy for a good long time. We should have plenty of them up and running by the time the, uh, what's this, justifications? Right, right, the Iron God of Romania. Forgot about that. Do I even have anybody over here ready for this war? I think I think I was just going to let the, yeah, I think I was just going to let the, everybody here in Europe deal with that. But the good news about all of this is we're, we're taking control of basically all the oil in the world, except for down here. <clears throat> in the Caucasus, and even then they don't have that much, but this is going to be very good when it comes time to go to war with Germany because they're not going to have access to oil. They still have this Indo-Chinese area, though. We cannot forget that. All right. Yes, please give me the Lend-Lease. All right. Invasion has succeeded in the Princely Federation here. That's good. Still having more than a little bit of trouble getting over the river and through the forts. Okay, what can we do next then? Uh, how are we doing on construction? Yeah, I really wish I had gone mobile infantry. But it's fine. It's fine. We're doing limited exports and still have a... Well, you guys want to help? No, Hungary. You have to focus on the war that you're about to face. There we go. Uh, let's deal with excavation, maybe? No, because the only thing I'm short on is rubber, right? So, all the excavation in the world is not going to help with that. Instead, let's see, we're already headed towards jet engines. We need super bazookas. Okay. Really wish they put a few more divisions in this area because they're getting pushed back. Maybe I need to be the one who does that. Yeah, in fact, let's take Ridgeway's men. We're gonna put them over here, where we will promptly, probably, uh, be way to have way too much supply. Damn, such a big Iran. Okay, when's Romania going to be done with its justification? More in about three days. Yeah, I'm sure once we call everybody in, they're going to be able to handle it on their own and we won't have to focus too much on it necessarily, but... <clears throat> okay, we need an air force. Hmm... Okay, 
we at least got some air superiority here. Do we have any transport planes? We got strategic bombers. That could be sort of helpful. Okay, dollar diplomacy is done, which I think I was doing on my way to getting more stability, right? Business ties or all arsenal of America. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's fine. Arsenal of America. Hmm. What is going on down here in Argentina? Why is this war not over yet? Got an easy overrun here. Okay. Have some of you go this way, and the rest of you go up north. Yeah, I can't believe they're still holding on as, as, as much as they are. They've got 36 divisions at most, but they've got to have about half of that stuck down here. Wars in South America just suck. Uh, but they're collapsing now pretty hard in the face of the Brazilian attack. There goes Argentina, and finally the war is over. All right, let's pass a bunch of times. And uh, I suppose we'll just... What I might just do is just give this over to Brazil and let them do what they want with it. Yeah, I'll do that. And once again, so that way, you all can't complain about whatever border gets made. Because I didn't do it. I'm mostly concerned with the Caribbean. In this little circle here. Should we also declare on Bolivia? Yeah, let's do that just so we can... Ooh, 405 days. Maybe not. I was going to say, let's do that so we can clean up South America's borders a little bit. But it looks like Brazil is going to be releasing people. <clears throat> Araucania. I don't think I've ever seen this uh, this one pop up. This is reminding me, though, I have to do a Brazil guide now that the rework has happened. Uh, one of my patrons donated enough to do that, so to make that request. So I have to work on that. Another reason why I want to knock out all of these Kaiserite campaigns as quickly as possible so I can start freeing, or at least get most of them done so I can free up some time to make guides again. Alright, how's Ridgeway doing? Okay, surely we can attack into some planes here, right, Ridgeway? You can pull that off. This might be harder because it's mountains, so even if I was doing a flanking attack... Oh no, it looks like, it looks like he can come in here. Oh, no, 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 that's not working. But supply is green, and green is good. All right. <clears throat> this is the only place we're really advancing is over here. All right, let's have a couple of you stay back in a defensive mode. All right. Okay. There's no way we're getting over this river into the commune. Soon, though, I think we're going to be able to cut off everybody here in the north. And then it'll just be a matter of time. Okay, can these two divisions defeat these three? No, not even a bit. Try to get over here, though, and get an encirclement. Oh, dang it, they got that division there just in time before I could uh, pull off that little maneuver. <clears throat> but looks like we are getting some encirclements happening here. So we're having some trouble advancing. And it's not as if, oh my gosh, they're on all adults serve. It's going to be a bloodbath. When's this war going to be done? Or when this when's this justification going to be done? Fourth of July, how appropriate. Okay. So then we need maybe infantry. Yeah, let's get the better infantry equipment stuff. And that's it. We'll just save the rest because we're going to be spending a lot of it right now as we continue to occupy these areas. That's it. Pressure them. Their org is low. Although it looks like they've just abandoned this area, which is fine. 
more clay for me. Oh, somebody's got low org. Stop. Okay, cool. They're trying to counterattack, which I think is not going to work for them. And then we're only one tile away from achieving the cutoff of Nangpur and everybody up here. This has to be a pretty sizable chunk of their army. Oh, maybe not. They've got almost 200 divisions. Alright, so who's not doing anything? Oh, we've got a bunch of you over here not doing anything. Let's fix that. How's the anti-tank? Am I caught up there? Excellent. Okay. So now that we're done with all this, we can finally do research cooperation. Although... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Joint military training. That's what I want. And research cooperation. I think we're about to get pushed back here. Yeah, they pushed us back a tile. Okay, can we hit in the south here? No, that's into jungle. Very hot jungle is that. Did it just say Germany declared on Romania? Did I read that right? Well, it's not as if they uh they have a border anywhere. And I guess he just decided to never make his move on Hungary. Oh, that's right, the Ukraine. Well, so much for uh, so much for Germany being denied access to oil. Good news is we have a weakened Russian Empire that we're going to be dealing with later. <clears throat> see if we can make it down to Hyderabad. Okay. What are you all up to? You're just sitting here on the border with the commune. Oh, did they get over the river? No, no, they did not. Never mind. Got excited there for a minute. Hmm. Okay, night vision's done. Let's get the... What do we want here? Breakthrough. Or, yeah, breakthrough. Oh, we gotta get this united India. It's just gonna be so good. Like, look at look at all the millions of manpower they already have, even without um, even without the cores on everybody else. In fact, let's send them a bunch of equipment. Because it's going to be India that I think will make the difference maker against Germany. Because continental France and the, and the recreated United Kingdom are just... They're moving so slow in coring and mobilizing and stuff. Well, I shouldn't say that. Not in um, coring, because I think France did end up coring. But like the United Kingdom, for example, is being really slow. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's going to be fine. They're going to be in Hyderabad. Yeah, they uh, they accidentally broke through. There it is. So now we just link up here, and these guys have low org. Everybody's going to be grabbing them. Yeah, it's going to be fine. We've taken their capital, and that's what's important. And uh, that's a that's a, one of their bigger cities, of course. Um, yeah, there you go. See, we have uh, we got the supply line again. Let's see if we can make it out here, and we're going to have one of you divisions permanently assigned in the city, so it doesn't fall. Oh, nice, got another uh, invasion down here, although they're kind of far away from any docks, so I think this invasion is doomed to fail. Okay, jet engines, let's go. And we can finally finish up our land doctrines. Okay, we can, I think it's also time to move these people out. Let's start moving some over here to Panama. And in about a week, yeah, in about a week, we're going to finally invade Haiti. <clears throat> Any last things that I want to grab, though? Hmm...
Should I try to go down to the Patton? Maybe. Well, it's not as if I have a whole lot else I gotta be researching. So let's see. One, two, three. I could do it. Go all the way. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. Just because there's nothing else for me to do, right? Okay, but our justification on Haiti is done. Here we go. This should be a nice and easy fight. My Marines should just roll right in there. Okay, good. Got your business ties united together. Both of those can wait. Hmm. War bonds? No, that gives me civilian factories. Is there anything? Ah, here's a go. Here we go. This is the one I want. The armored technology. So right now we've got. 50% research speed towards something or other. We're going to have this, then this, then this. Okay. So let's just... Let's take shock and awe so we can be prepared to take those research bonuses and get the modern tanks very quickly. Oh, we lost Hyderabad. Dang it. It's so annoying. <clears throat> and there goes Haiti. Too easy. Uh, shouldn't there be a pop-up? And no, we just gotta own it forever or something. They're not in a faction. Am I missing something? Did they take land and I did not notice? There it is. All right, terrific. So, what is next for them? That's really it. We just got, uh, yeah, we just have Panama and. Costa del Pueblo, as it's going right now, uh, going by right now, to take. Fate of Haiti, we will continue to occupy it. And our golden circle is nearly complete. What is this? The future of warfare. After a long reshuffling of former U.S. departments, the American Union State has uncovered an old classified weapons proposal. The two proposals that caught the most interest, the ones authored by Robert Goddard and Vannevar Bush, each propose, proposing an expensive weapon project to deter invasions. Fortunately, both men were recovered from their respective hiding places and persuading into updating their proposals. Goddard's plan is for a liquid fuel rocket to deliver stable, explosive payloads across long distances. Vannevar Bush's is a theoretical utilization of nuclear fission to create a bomb based on experiments done in Europe. Which plan should we pursue? Okay, so that sounds like the nuke. So let's come over here. And we're going to pursue the bomb. We're going with the nukes on this one. It's going to be the equalizer where we will need against the Germans. Okay, okay. Dang it, we got cut off again. These freaking Indian divisions, they're relentless. And it's not as if they're abandoning this front either. But we need it. We got to have a united India. We're also still technically at war with the Bharatiya commune, and I think this one's going to be a bigger pain in the ass because their numbers are bigger, their recruitable population is bigger, and they've got all these rivers and mountains and stuff that we're going to have to deal with. Wait, Rome fell? To who? Oh, to our people. All right, that's good. Let's give this to Sardinia Piedmont, if I could remember which one is their flag. I genuinely do not remember. Uh, yeah, there. Okay, take, go ahead and have the Papal States. Okay, are they going to get a decision now or something that lets them get cores everywhere? I hope so. Maybe. No. Nope, we are just out of luck. That's really annoying. Well, they still have lots of, uh, recruitable population left over but it's still very very annoying uh, and now Germany's going after the rest of the Balkans this war is going to be hideous when it comes I'm wondering if we should attack Switzerland we probably should do that because that will then allow us to just go around the uh, their west wall here although there's still a river in the way so it's not a huge help now, I think we have Austria, and so that's plenty. Here we go. Nuclear power in New Mexico. Hurdle after hurdle stood between the American Union state and atomic weaponry. It began with a dearth of willing physicists and nuclear exp 
experts, including Robert Oppenheimer, who has yet to be located. Several other potential candidates signed a humanist declaration of pacifism abroad, declaring their opposition to our program. Therefore, Bush has had to resort to industrial technicians, which extended the timeline. Finally, after much testing and assistance from George Kitakowski, Kitakowski, the first atomic bomb is tested due to the extensive safety precautions taken. The, the vital test yielded an impressive blast, but poor documentation. We wear the crown atomic. Okay, so now I should be able to come over here and get it instantly. That's funny, it's talking about the reduced timetable, but I think that was the fastest of any of the American states that I've picked up the nukes. Oh, what's going on here? Come on. <clears throat> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, so we're working on those jet engines. Uh, I guess let's all start working on better strategic bombers. France wants to help in a war efforts. Which one? Right. I keep forgetting we're technically at war with uh, the co-prosperity sphere. It's because I'm focusing on you know, India right now, but that is true. We have got a long war ahead of us against all of that. So this could end up being a pretty doggone long uh, campaign compared to what I initially thought it was going to be. Holy shit, German Empire might have over 700 divisions? That can't be right. There's just no way. I think it's... Let, let me check my... Okay, let me look at my encryption and decryption. That, there must be something wrong. Nope, I've got it maxed out. That's just ridiculous. I refuse to believe they've got 700 divisions. Or even half that. Okay. Having a little bit of trouble getting into Hyderabad. Can we try to maybe push here? Maybe what we should instead do is do the old surround the capital trick. <laughs> hmm... Dutch Middle Africa is still blowing up. <clears throat> but these are all part of Germany, so it's fine. As long as they're not breaking away. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, it looks like they tried an invasion here, north of Katak, and those are all gonna die. For sure. All those people. That is a failed invasion if I ever saw one. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. We got Henry Hodes here. What could we do with him? Maybe I should be thinking about my own invasions, but I think Goa is the only naval base here. And plus, we, we share a border with it, so why would I naval invade it when I could just walk in? Hmm. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, the justification for Panama is done, though. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Yeah, we're just going to run right over these guys. Even though my units are mostly green here. Uh, you know what I should have done is set these guys up for an invasion. I guess I could just do that now. Into Panama City. We've got the, yeah, we've got the naval superiority that's necessary here. We've only got 10 divisions. Yeah, that, that, yeah we got that. That's too easy. All right, Armored Avalanche is done, which means no more land doctrines to worry about. Uh, what else could we grab? We're working on the jets. We're done with land doctrine. We're done with the support. We're working on tanks. We could take an ahead of time on the engineers, maybe. Now, let's, uh, let's start finishing up the infantry stuff. Okay. Alright, now I got some more divisions that aren't doing anything. We're gonna take some of you and point you south. Got that, Hodes? Move 
See, it looks good at first when I go on the attack, but there's enemy air superiority we gotta deal with. How, ma how many planes can I fit here? Okay, a fair amount. Let's grab, uh, well, what's going on? Nope, there we go. Okay, let's grab, I got, t <laughs> boy, do I have enough close air support, guys? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna split these up. I know that I've, I've got too many here. Uh, okay, so we'll move you over here or something. Yeah, let's just get you out of the way. And we should be able to take the air superiority back. So how many planes could they have? Uh, they got about 600, maybe. <laughs> hmm. Jeez, my allies have so many planned invasions, but they're not firing any of them. Maybe I should think about helping them. Oh, oh, what's this? When did this start happening? <laughs> I uh, know it looks like they already got stopped, but we could maybe start leapfrogging with some marines, especially once we're done down here in Panama, where we still have not broken through. Almost, though. We're nearly there. Yeah, their, their organization is far too low. Yeah, you know, maybe that's what I'll do just to do my small part to help is just get a bunch of marines and start leapfrogging up here in the north. <clears throat> But God, I hate island hopping. This campaign is this is this part is gonna suck. <laughs> hmm. All right, I think these guys are ready now. There we go. How's the air spear already looking? We don't have it, but we can put another hundred here. try to help. I don't think it will very much, but... <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, and the Balkans, yeah, the, half the Balkans belong to Germany now. I think we're just jockeying for position. Like, maybe I should declare on uh, Serbia. Just to keep getting more allies. Wow, we're still not broken through here. I think my marines are going to have to end up doing this. Let's grab the research, cooperation. Come on. All right, fine. Four more days and my marines will be ready. Also, my first nuke is ready. Once I get air superiority in India, maybe we can check it out there. Okay, that's done, that's done. We're still working on the tanks. Uh, let's get the better signal companies. And these guys are ready. Okay, go. Wow, I really can't believe how hard they're fighting. They're out of manpower, too. Out of manpower, only 10 divisions. It's because these guys are green, that's why. But we're going to occupy their capital in two days. All right, too easy. And now these ones are cut off. Oh, no, they actually have the naval base, so they are not cut off. But there it is. Didn't even have to take David. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait, no, reset that. Oh, I hope Germany's not mad that I took that from them. And if they are, they can fight me for it. Might makes right. Germany's actually sending us help right now, funnily enough. Uh, <clears throat> I guess they want help against the commune, presumably. I don't know. But let's try a southern advance. See, this is going good. Let's do a little force attack for the cherry on top. There we have it. Look at their organization crumble. There we 
go. Let's try to come down here a bit. That's it. That's it. Very good. They have a little bit of attrition going on just here. Is this unit training or something? 10% attrition. No idea why that is. Some, some, so the Germans went to Alaska? What is going on here? I guess they're... Oh, I guess they want to fight Japan by proxy? Or something. I don't know. I don't know, it's very strange. But things are really looking up here in India. We're struggling to get that air superiority, but once we have the air base down here, that should really help. It's kind of a back and forth. Am I repairing anything right now? No, it's just reactors all the way down. Okay, we're gonna continue the ownership of the Panama Canal as well. So we're almost done. Really, the, in a way, the campaign's almost done, because beside, we're going to attack Costa Rica at some point to attack that, to, to complete the Golden Circle. Uh, and then we're going to, oh, you know what? Can we attack the Netherlands? No, because they're in the Entente. Okay, so, so me and my allies will own the circle. And uh, attacking Costa Rica will start the war with Germany, which is, of course, going to be the big war. Wow, they've got at least 420 divisions. Insane. All right. What can we do here, then? What do we want? Embargo, the Internationale. Yeah, let's do that. We got most of the world's resources. Excellent. We're already into Madras. I don't think we're gonna, hmm, should I keep the episode? Yo, we're just gonna make this a slightly longer than usual episode because I might be able to just capitulate the Princely Federation right now. Or, mm, no, no, there's too much resistance, but okay, in the next episode, we're gonna comp uh, capitulate them, I'm pretty sure, and uh, let's start moving some some fighters over into this area. In fact, actually, let's start bringing in strategic bombers because I think we're going to need some nukes to blast away those mountains. Wait, am I not building any strategic bombers? Yeah, I am. Where are they then? Interwar fighters. Got a ton of those. Nice, we have the superiority now. Close air support. That's all I'm seeing, though, is the carriers, the close air support, and the interwar fighters. Weird. Okay, well, anyway, I'll figure that out in the next episode in which we are probably going to capitulate the Princely Federation. After that is the Commune. After that, we've got the enormous co-prosperity sphere that we have to think about. And then finally, the German Empire. I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye.